Kimani from your Gaznet Media. I'm here with Khalil the Prophet, who's a producer and engineer here in LA. We're going to get into this interview with him. So, how did you get into producing and engineering? Uh, pretty much, I started off uh, recording my brother. Because me and my brother, we were rapping or whatever. And uh, he's still rapped, though. I don't rap no more. I just produce and engineer. But, uh, he was he, he rapped so I, I was recording to him in my garage I had built a studio because we was doing it for like a year or whatever but we didn't have nowhere to record or nothing we was just recording at different studios but I was like why are we still why are we paying for other studios when we could just like make our own cop shit you feel me so yeah uh, I did that and then uh, pretty much I started meeting other people who rapped and shit and like well, I was recording to other homies and we all started just rapping I was engineering so it was cool and um yeah that's pretty much how I started engineering and then uh, producing, it just it came along with engineering because we needed beats. Like we got to a point to where it was like we need more beats, and it was like who else gonna make beats? And I knew how to play piano because I was uh, in high school. I was in choir and shit, so I played piano. <laughs> That's dope. You yeah. were in choir. Yeah. Okay, so you can like. Kind of... Uh yeah yeah. Okay. I guess that's what people say, but I don't, I don't think I can sing like that. Good. That's why I produce. You feel me? I don't. You I'm be humble. Singer. Okay, yeah. I feel it. I feel it. So you like taught yourself how to produce an engineer. Like that's dope. So you just like sat down there one day and was just like, I'm learning shit. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's a, it was a process. Uh, it took like a cool a cool two years okay. to get the whole engineering and producing thing down. But yes, yeah, it's, it's when you get it, you got you got it. Like it's it's cool. Okay. Creativity is whatever you make it. Do you sometimes feel like say another producer who's gone to school and stuff comes in the studio? Well, I know you have, but do you sometimes feel like you have some sort of not disadvantage, but like you know he went to school and stuff and you didn't, you kind of taught yourself, or do you feel like you have? Your I feel like I mean on paper it's an advantage, but in the real world, paperwork don't really matter. It's, it's your talent. It, it's what you. It's your work that proves. You feel me? Like a lot of people can go to school. You can go to school for a, a, your whole two years, and they'll teach you what they teach you. And if however you come, I mean, it's how you how you take it and how you apply it. If you just do the same thing every day at home, out of out of the love for it, mm -hmm. you get the same the same result, if not better. Exactly. So. So you just kept practicing. Now we're here. Yeah. That's the. Okay. So what software do you prefer when you make? When I make beats, I use Ableton okay. to produce Ableton, okay. but for recording, Pro Tools. Okay. Pro Tools has the cleanest sound. So. Did it take you a while to get your your, your sound perfected with your software? With Pro Tools, yeah. Pro Tools is uh, that was different because I originally started with uh, Ableton. Okay. Or actually, I started with FL, but that was back when I was like 15, 16. And I, I was just bullshit and I wasn't really making beats for me. I was, I was making beats, but not serious, it. yeah. Okay, now you serious, you on it. Yeah. That's dope. You, you have to be on it, because you uh, recently posted a pic of you and Casey Veggies in the studio. So, do we have to wait, or like, what can we expect? Are you not trying to steal the beans? Is it top secret? What's up? We got something coming. Okay. But so we just, wait need to, we just need to be patient. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta wait on it. I mean, that's fine. We'll be patient. So, if you can travel back in time to a classic um, album and add your own production to it, what what album would that be? I go to Kanye era, like when he was almost when he first started, but I, I would go to like I don't know. Let me think. I want to say late registration because I really love late registration. Mm -hmm. His production is crazy. Like Kanye's production great. is like it's insane. Awesome. But uh, yeah. I mean, my beautiful dark. Too. I mean, not nah, because I was like, I feel like that was prime time Kanye. Like, that wasn't his best. I mean, it was a good ass album. But his yeah. production, he changed his, his way of producing a little bit, just a little bit. But you yeah. go in the beginning when yeah. you first started. Yeah. Okay, okay. So. I have to like dig through artists and producers and people I interview social media, you know, to get, you know, form questions. Um, this is off topic though, but I seen a picture of cup noodles with cheese inside, and I yeah. just wanted to know, like, <laughs> why and who does that? I mean, I just added some cheese just to sauce it up, pretty much. Just, it was like a, 
It's the thing that you do when you ain't got much. You just throw something together. You you nah, I was sober. I think I was wow. sober. Okay, yeah. I was trying to get Steve the for that. Like, okay, he was high. Like, you know. Nah, but I mean, you got hot sauce. You got, I mean, everybody had hot sauce. It's regular. But, you me? just add what you got. I mean, I didn't add hot sauce with the cheese. That's gross. You feel me? But, no, yeah. I like some cheese. Unless it's tacos. Like yeah, that's yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's cool, bro. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> that's so out. <laughs> we have to wait and be patient for what he has cooking up with Casey Veggies, and I'm sure he has plenty more stuff cooking up. So be on the lookout for Khalil the Prophet. He's gonna come out with some amazing stuff, I'm sure, and he's handsome. So ladies, like, yeah, get we're out of. Just getting him. started, so. Yeah, he seems like he's like a pretty boy. You see his dress, like, swinging and shit. Hell like, no, she <laughs> anyway, this is Tyler <laughs> Kimani from your gas and meeting. I'm signing out. Thank you.